pulling the trigger is the least exciting part for me. It's fun, don't get me wrong. It's, it's exhilarating, it's heart pumping, and this, but as soon as that's over, it's over. I've now got six months worth of food. That, that triggers this much in, in, in a story this big. Doing a study for a magazine, I found out that the average steak in a grocery store, it has touched anywhere between 50 to 100 hands or machines. 100 things have touched that piece of meat before it even gets to your family. And you know nothing about that animal. For me, walking up on that animal and seeing that animal, and the only hands that I want to touch that are mine. It all started because I found out I was allergic to beef. I was getting really, really sick eating beef and eating processed meat. It drove me crazy not being able to eat red meat. And I went and got a tag and got my first antelope and got it home and I hated the meat. And this notion of from field to plate just blossomed out of my desire to know more and my desire to make that meat taste good. The first time I saw an axis was in India, where they actually originate from. And I remember just sitting there in awe of the beauty of this animal, and the spots, and the colors, and the antlers, and that's all I can think about, which is I want to taste this animal. The choice cut for a lot of hunters is the backstrap. One of my favorite ways to prepare it is to French it out, or the king's crown, or there's a million different terms for it, where you actually leave on part of the ribs to cook it. It takes on amazing flavors when you leave that bone on there. I think this whole idea of, of farm to table, field to plate, People who were vegans and vegetarians two years ago are now buying camouflage and going out in the woods because they realize that this is better, cleaner meat. So when people say like, well I can't do it, I live in a big city. I'm 10 minutes from Disneyland. I live in a townhome and I'm out there doing it. I'm out there pursuing my dinner. I want to eat meat, I want to do it myself. Thank you for the meat in front of us. I ask that this meal will be full of fellowship, full of laughter, and full of delicious food. That good meal and that good fellowship that comes along with a meal is, I think, my greatest joy.